Hey guys, Kaiser here. Today I'm going to show you how to tame the Anik, aka the giant bat. They're pretty straightforward, but they are a pretty annoying passive tame. While this is possible with just a ghillie suit, I always try to cater my taming videos to the lowest possible level. So I'll be doing this video with only bug repellent, which is learned at level 16, to keep from pulling aggro. If possible, I also recommend bringing some grappling hooks and a couple of antidotes in case you get unlucky and contract rabies. I'm going to be showing you two different taming methods as well. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, I'm at the central cave located at 41.5 by 46.9, but if you have another cave that you like that has Sonic in it, feel free to use that one. There's my RG that I used to get here, and my Hynodon that I'm using to store meat in, in place of a refrigerator. Now let's apply some bug repellent and look for our Sonic. Be careful, because scorpions don't seem to be affected by bug repellent for some reason. See? Prime example. Luckily, we found two Onik pretty close to the entrance of the cave. I'm going to take out my spyglass and tame the lower level of the two. And... They're both level 15. So I'll pick one of them off with my handy dandy law neck rifle, so that there's just one by itself. Because the second I finish taming one of them, the other one will try and attack it. The best thing to tame these guys with is raw mutton, but I'm going to use prime meat because it's more accessible. I'll cut here and come back when I have the meat. Okay, prime meat secured. Now I just have to throw this into my Hyenodon so that it lasts longer. If you guys also want to use a Hyenodon for this tame, but have not yet tamed one yourself, I'll make sure to link my How to Tame the Hyenodon video in the description. It's another annoying passive tame for sure, but it comes in handy if you don't have a fridge. Now I just need to equip the antidote to my hotbar just in case. And then let's use the bug repellent on the Hyenodon so that he doesn't aggro anything onto me. Get him to follow, and we're on our way. Huh. Let's take care of this snake before we try and tame anything. Where is he? Uh-huh. Oh, there he is. There we go. Now, the trick to taming these things is a lot like any other passive tame. Just stay behind them and don't touch them. As soon as you feed them, make sure to back off. There's a 45 second interval in between feeding, but the first interval seems to take a bit longer. I've noticed that it can take anywhere between 2 and 5 minutes for some reason. Now, if things go too well, you won't know what to do if things go wrong. So watch what happens if you don't back away after feeding it. Do do do. Uh huh. And see, didn't even touch it, and it's on us. Now, you just need to leave its draw distance and come back. I'll cut here and come back in a bit. And we're back with some fresh prime meat and antidote. I checked earlier, and he's hovering too high up for me to feed him, and that's why I brought the grappling hooks. Be careful not to hit him, but you can still hit anywhere around him with a grappling hook, as long as you have the bug repellent on, and you won't pull aggro. Now, you just need to keep feeding him like this until he's tamed. Uh, 
Bouncy, bouncy. You can generally keep two prime eats on you before they go bad when feeding the Onik, since the feeding interval is only 45 seconds. Again, I'm using the Hyenodon because the prime meat lasts a lot longer in its inventory when it has the meat pack on. And from here on out, it's just a waiting game. And there we go. I'm gonna name him Batty. And that's it for the first taming method. Now I'm going to cut away and show the second taming method. This method involves a taming bin. You're going to need one foundation, eight walls, a ceiling, and two door frames. Make sure to have two ladders to help you get on top of your taming bin as well. This taming method isn't really unique, and I've seen plenty of other videos use a similar method. However, everyone seems to make their taming bin a tad bit different, and here's how I make mine. Okay, just place your first foundation. Get the door frames and walls on my hotbar. From here on, you place two door frames across from each other, and then build the rest of the structures with walls going too high. Make sure that you don't place a wall on top of the door frame you're going to be running through when you lead the Anik into your trap. Place a ceiling on top, and you're done. Now, we just need to find an Anik. Now that we found our Anik, we just have to pull aggro. Huh. He might be bugged. These guys can be pretty buggy. Let's try hitting him with the grapple. Nope. Oh, there he goes. Now we just need to lead him to our trap. I'm going to cut out here and come back when we're closer. We're almost to the exit now. Ow! Now let's run him into our trap. <laughs> Accidentally used the antidote. Now seal his exit with a wall, and replace the door frames with walls as well. Now we just need to leave his draw distance. As usual, I'll cut here and come back. And we're back! And we've refreshed our bug repellent so that we don't pull aggro. Very important. Now we just need to place our ladder so that we can get on top. Testing to make sure I can climb that second ladder. And now that I know I can, it's time to get the meat. Just need to climb up, and you can feed him through the ceiling. And like before, it's become a waiting game. Got more meat.
any second now. Almost there. And he's tamed. Let's see, since Anik don't seem to have a gender, I'll name this one Draculaura. Kate's a big Monster High fan, and I think that's her favorite character, so. Is it an A or a U? Ah, well. Now, since I have Structures Plus installed, I can just pick these walls up. But if you're playing vanilla, you'll have to destroy them. Either way, now you've got yourself an Onyx. Have it follow me out, and... What the... What? Where is it going? Have I mentioned that the Onyx is a buggy mess? If I haven't, it's a buggy mess. Let's see. Get down here. Well, she's gone forever. So today we successfully tamed the Onik. Unfortunately, Draculaura is no longer with us. But today's video wasn't about me taming a couple of bats. It was about me showing you guys how to tame a couple of bats as easily as possible. And I think we accomplished that. Normally, I'd show off their abilities as well, but these guys just fly around and attack things. They aren't mountable either, and they seem to be more of a PvP creature they could probably be used to attack unsuspecting raiders once they get in your base. I'd only tame them on PvE if you want to get the Master Zoologist achievement or something. Anyway, thanks for watching! If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up! And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and click that bell icon so that you get notified. Oh, and leave a comment letting me know what you guys want to see next. Like the Mana Ray or something, I don't know. You guys choose. Again, thanks for watching! You guys have a nice one. See ya!